Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be my next video for BPAL Picks. Sorry for ghosting you guys for a bit. I didn't mean to. I just got very busy, started my show on Steel Flyers, covered a Phantoms game for Flyers Nitty Gritty, and then covered the last night's Flyers 4-3 victory over the Rangers for Flyers Nitty Gritty, which has been a blast and an honor. Thank you so much to them. Follow Flyers Nitty Gritty. Follow my Sports Fanatic news page, please, to be able to follow those games, as well as my JJ Borg 26 on Twitter and Borg6789 on Instagram. You might have to go back because I said that fast to replay that, but I wanted to get through that part so we can actually get into the meat of this video. The meat of this video is actually going to be back to uh, me talking about the games of the day when it comes to the NBA and me going over who I think you guys should pick as the winners. For more specific picks on totals and etc., you're going to have to subscribe, to, subscribe excuse me, to our Patreon at BPAL Picks. That's where we give you the more specific picks. That's where we give you the picks that are going to make you all that cheddar. And uh, these are just going to be the winners, who I think are going to be tonight's winners. Well, we have my Philadelphia 76ers playing the Dallas Mavericks, who are 15-15 of 15 to 21-11 and 11 for the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, the Sixers are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The Mavs are actually better in their last 10. That's what brought them back up to 500. Um, they're seven and three, so this is a team the Sixers really got to come in against and perform their high-level basketball. Due to the fact that I think they are going to play at a high level tonight, I think the Sixers are going to take this game. But I think this is going to be a close game and a game that if you do take them for granted at a 500 record, you're going to lose because they're seven and three in their last ten. But I think the Sixers are not going to do that. I think they're going to play one of their best games, and they're going to step up against the Stars on the Mavs, and they'll be able to take that game. You got the Brooklyn Nets at Orlando Magic. Is this even a contest? The Nets have a historic offense. No matter how bad their defense does against the Magic, they ain't losing to the Magic, or at least they shouldn't, and they should be ashamed of themselves if they do. So that game's going to go to the Brooklyn Nets. You got the New York Knicks and the Sacramento Kings. These are two nobody teams this year. Uh, the Knicks are 15-17, and 17, so I guess they can still quote-unquote become something, excuse me, but they're not much of anything, either of these teams. They just got a couple players that are fun to watch in Randall and De'Aaron Fox. But uh, I would lean Knicks in this because the Knicks are still 6-4 and four in the last 10. The Kings are 2-8. and eight. Uh, So, yeah, they're... They're not going anywhere. The Kings, the Knicks are the only team out of this bunch that has a chance to go anywhere. So I would just lean Knicks on that one, but that's not really a game I would probably look to to bet on, maybe lie bet on if you think someone's going to get to a point total or something. But I wouldn't say on the winner just because I would lean Knicks, but I mean, who the hell knows? It's not like the Knicks are the most as consistent as uh, everything uh, team either. Uh, Clippers, Memphis, Grizzlies. Um, even though this game's at Memphis, the Clippers should be able to win on the road. They're a 23-10 team against a 13-14 uh, struggling Grizzlies team. Uh, Kawhi should be able to do good. You just got to limit John Moran, and then you're going to be flying home with a win if you're the Clippers. Um, you got the Washington Wizards and the Denver Nuggets. Uh, this game should go to the Nuggets. The Wizards are a struggling team, 11-18 to 17-14 for the Nuggets. I thought the Nuggets should be better than that this year, but they are at 17-14. and 14. They do got Millsap out and Green out. Uh, those do factor in. Uh, Jokic is obviously playing good, Murray. So, I mean, I want to see guys step up, and I think they will, and the Nuggets will get that victory. Uh, last game on the docket is the 9.30 p.m. Eastern game. The New Orleans Pelicans at 14-17 against the 19-13 and Bucks. I think the Bucks will take this game. Giannis will have a good game. They'll be able to limit Zion a little bit, but not totally. I could see him scoring maybe around 20 rather than his usual average 25. So they'll limit him a bit, and Giannis will have a great game. And Middleton, and I think the Bucks will be able to get this victory. Uh, Holiday is out, though, which obviously will be a factor, as is Bobby Portis. But we'll see. I think they'll still be able to get this victory because it's not like the Pelicans or anything special. They're a team that's budding, and the Bucks are already there. So that's why I think the Bucks will get this victory. But this has just been picking the quick winners of the day in the NBA. I hope everybody has a great, safe, and pleasant day and enjoys all the great basketball action today. Have a great day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. If you have not, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, please subscribe to our Patreon, BPAL Picks. We really do appreciate it and run some great promotions for you all in there. So peace out, everybody. Subscribe to BPAL Picks.
Peace.